Hey Dutch here, welcome to the vlog guys. So I just want to show you the pigs. Um, today I want to show you guys, um, it's in the house, I'm going to go get it, but I wanted to uh, show you guys what I'm doing outside before, before it gets dark on me. But I'm going to show you guys a way that we prevent poison ivy and even poison sumac, all the poison stuff like plants that people are allergic to that makes them break out in a bad rash. And I got some down here, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I know it's not poison ivy, poison ivy is three leaves. But this stuff down here used to make me break out and uh when i say break out well uh, ever since i was a little kid i've had to go to the hospital at least twice in my life for poison ivy just all over my eyes everywhere uh, from head to toe so i've always had a, a very severe uh allergic reaction to to plants that put off uh, uh chemicals that that make people break out like poison ivy and uh, the oil that comes off of them one tip that you guys can do i'm sure if you have poison ivy you know this I've, and i learned this at a young age probably like eight nine years old if I got into something poison, like poison ivy, poison sumac, whatever, if I went in the house, and if I realized I got into it, if I went in the house and rinsed off, took a shower, I hardly ever got it because I'm rinsing off the oils. But I want to show you what we got down here, and, and this, this used to make me break out. But now, I very seldom uh, get a rash, and when I do, it's just localized to one spot. Um, I'm going to go in the house in just a little bit, and I'm going to show you this stuff that my work gives us um, because we work outside and we work in the brush. And uh, actually this last, uh, probably two weeks ago, I, I got a little spot on my arm. And usually that little spot would have spread all over. But since I've been taking this stuff for the last five years, it doesn't happen anymore. I'm going to share it with you guys here in a little bit. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Hey, um, uh, I'll show you the pigs a little bit more. Then I'm going to go to the baby rabbits because we're going to start feeding a few of them. Um, like some of you guys said, it is a lot of bunnies on there. They're, they're, doing, they're doing okay. But we got the formula, formula on hand, so we might as well take them off there. And uh, the girls will enjoy feeding them, and, and uh, we'll, we'll try to get these uh, fattened up. Uh, so I'll show you the rabbits, and I'm going to go over there, and we got to look at the chickens. All right, guys, hope you guys like the rest of the vlog. And stay tuned for that uh, poison ivy, poison whatever uh, uh, remedy. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but before that would make me break out like no other. I know it's not poison ivy because it might be poison oak, but it's definitely not poison ivy because poison ivy is three leaves. And I and I have that around the pig pen. I've sprayed this several times, but it, that stuff's hard to get rid of. Let's look at the pigs. All right, the pigs got one, about probably one or two days worth of food left. So I'll have to be going to the store tomorrow when I get off work and uh, get me some, get me a mixture and put it in there with them. All right, let's go look at these baby bunnies. Okay, right here at the bunny. You guys are probably sick of seeing the bunnies every day, but you know I got I got them out here, so I'm gonna show them to you guys. They pulled off the smaller bunnies earlier today and fed them, and I'm gonna do the same thing here in just a little bit. And uh, we'll probably end up leaving them off. I'll end up pulling them out. Well, you missed it. I was going to show you this little cute bunny. Then it peed all over me. So, ah, oh, dang it. Well, at least I know this one's eating good. Nice and or nice and hydrated. bunny pee all over me i went and got the poison ivy stuff i'm talking about and uh, we get this at a local pharmacy our work does and gives it to us uh, i won't say the name right so i'm just going to show it to you guys we call it like jungle juice but i'll show you guys the the name of it and a lot of you guys might have heard of this before and what you do i'll read the uh, directions to you guys pretty self-explanatory you take one uh let's see here it is best between meals and mint flavor foods should be avoided 30 minutes before and after taking the solution okay okay you get there's uh four do there's four doses in here and you take say if i take it on monday i do it for three weeks i take it on a uh, monday then the next Monday i take it and then the next monday i take it and then six months after that you take uh, the last one and that and that's good for like the whole year and uh, this stuff is awesome um i never took it before i even heard of it before until i got a, a job where i'm at now and we work outside all, uh, every day 
and we're in poison ivy and stuff all the time. Um, I still rinse off, like if, if, I, if I know we're in contact with uh, poison ivy or if we're cutting trees down and it looks like, all right, that's probably got some, something in there that's gonna give me a rash because I'm so allergic to anything, not just poison ivy, just uh, poison oak, poison sumac, all that stuff, just, uh, it just makes me break out like no other. And this stuff right here has been a lifesaver. From the very first uh, year I took it, um, I got poison ivy on my arm again. And that's the first time I was like, and I always just like panic and usually just go get a, a, a shot, a steroid shot from, uh, from um, uh, oh, the quick uh, clinic. I didn't even think of the urgent care. I usually just go there and get a shot and a shot because I know once I get it, I'm just going to break out everywhere. I mean, it's just a matter of time. It's going to happen. There's no ifs and or, and or buts about it. I'm going to get it. So I usually just, as soon as I find any poison, anything on me, any rash whatsoever, the itches, I go get a shot. Well, the first year I started taking this stuff, I went... Um, I got I found it on my arm and I was like, man, I'm, I'm gonna go get a shot Well, things came about where I, I didn't have time to go get one So I was watching it for several days and it never moved it stayed localized in that one spot And I was like, man, this is awesome. So then the next year same thing So I haven't had to get a shot in like four years. It's awesome. So um, if you guys have a uh, I'm sure you do you have a local pharmacy uh, Go ask them if you're highly allergic to poison ivy like I am or poison oak Whatever you guys know what I'm talking about if you guys are highly allergic to it go tell them about this ask them if they have anything like this that i'm showing you guys and um and and start taking it i'm telling you this stuff is a lifesaver because if you're highly allergic like i am you know how bad it is because it gets everywhere and i mean everywhere um i know uh, a week uh, about this probably been three weeks ago i got one i got it right here on on the inside of my arm and i knew we had gotten it so i rinsed off but i guess i just missed it right here well and i, I had my arm folded it spread to the other side of my arm because it was folded it stayed right there for a week and a half. Never went anywhere. So uh, I was going to sh show this to you guys a while back, but I just found this extra pack that I got. And I wanted to share that with you guys because being on a homestead, if you guys are homesteaders, you live on a farm, you're out in the woods all the time, deer season's coming up and about, you're probably going to start um, scouting for uh, a good place to put your tree stand or whatnot, just a good place to hunt. And you guys are allergic to the, uh, poison, the poisonous vines. Um, this stuff is a lifesaver. Highly recommend. I wish I invented this because I'd probably be a millionaire right now. But all right, guys, I wanted to share that with you. This is actually going to be the end of the vlog. Um, for say, I'm, I'm going to get the rabbits out and I'll show you guys a little bit of, of the kids feeding them, and then uh, I'm going to get off here. All right, guys. Ho hope this. Um, hope someone takes the advice that's allergic to poisonous vines like I am and goes and gets this stuff because you will not regret it. All right, guys. Thanks. I'll put it on the grass. Turn out for the camera to see your, your whole butt taking the camera. They're not moving really fairly. Really. Left the bunny right here. Alright, let's go in the house and feed him. Go back, bunny. You already got eight. You're good. You're eight. Tom must be hungry. Oh my gosh, look at this one. I'm serious, Dad. Bunny, go back. You already got fed. You can tell Megan where I'm headed. Go is. back. Go, Bunny. Is that one eating good? Bunny. I'm just barely squeezing. I'm going to have to hold this one. He's being very frisky and trying to move the bunch. Yeah, it's eating good. Now hold this one, Dad, so he doesn't get out. Bunny, no. They have like a. Hold this. Oh, look, okay. Hold it here. Okay. Now, I'll squeeze it, okay? Hold it up there. What do you think, Hadley? <laughs> <laughs>